Oh, hello. You've only gone There's now meters. evidence that she doesn't carry her stuff with her all the time. <laughs> yeah. I feel so light. I feel like I've walked 150 kilometers <laughs> and now I am carrying, whoa. Oh, we are on the wrong side. Oops, sorry. Because I'm in Australia in my head. <laughs> feel the burn. Feel it. Alright, well, Hola. you can either pop oh. it down. Do you want to pop it? <laughs> I'm losing my balance here. Alright, how about you stop? Okay. <laughs> she had to put up with me like this for five days. Wow. Five days <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gonna miss me? Yep. It's gonna be tough. Yep. Tough leaving you here all on your own. Yep. Are you asleep now? No. But I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> Describe day one. Day one went pretty quick. We did three lots of 10 kilometers with very minimal stops. My feet were good, my legs were good. It was pretty fun. Yep. This is a weird angle, I get a double chin. <laughs> <laughs> Tilt it up. Make me look attractive. No, that's that. horrible. <laughs> day one was wicked. We got up at, um, oh no, we got off straight off a bus, didn't we? I was like, <laughs> oh my God, he farted. Wombat, what the? Yeah. How did it feel? Yeah, really good. We cruised through it. Uh, three breaks of like 10 minutes each, 10 kilometers. We did 30, 30 Ks. It was pretty yeah. good. And we got mm. to stay in the castle. Oh yeah, that was good too. Except I couldn't sleep because there were these <laughs> vulture looking things. No, they were actually vultures. <laughs> and they were like staring at me while I slept. It was weird. Yeah, I didn't. I just ignored them. And slept really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, day two, what happened? My legs were broken, I'd had no sleep, and so um, basically it sucked. Was that nap day? Yeah, I think every time, every day since then has been nap day. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely made you nap at every, <laughs> every five <laughs> kilometers for half an hour to an hour. Yeah, so that was the day that we found an abandoned house, and we took a nap in the abandoned house. And then we found a nugget <laughs> in the corner of the house. <laughs> Everywhere we stop, we have slept in more bus stops than I would like to admit. But we really look, we're really excited when we see them because they they give you shade they're in the desert. So and they're, for some reason it's cold and you have to put jumpers on as soon it's as you freezing. fall asleep. It's so weird. Mm, yeah, you're sun, really terrible. hot and then you're really cold. There's no in between. Mm. But today I was dragging a lot. I was in so much pain and she didn't want to hear me swear she anymore. I've eaten so much food. I've like, explained more food than I've ever eaten in my life. That she needs to eat five thousand calories left a day everywhere along <laughs> the trail. That I've been eating. She's not more even eating two thousand calories. That's why she's tired because she has no energy. Anyway, <laughs> how do you feel like you're going to go tomorrow? Do you think it's going to be easier, hard? I reckon I'll be sore. Like I've been walking like. Um, I have two stump legs. <laughs> Yesterday, like today, it was really hard. She's definitely got a weird stride. It going was kind of like I was getting all the honks from everyone. <laughs> How did you think you'd go before you started? I didn't think I'd finish. Oh. I thought I'd give it a pretty red hot crack, but 150 kilometers is really far. Mm. Um, but yeah, no point. Like I didn't really have an option to quit, and you kind of gave me some options. You were like, you could hitch. I was like, no. And you're like, oh, you could normal here. You could just sit here and wait and just die. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the other options, but there are a few, and none of them were attractive, so I just had to walk. Yeah. So we've been walking from like 2 a.m. till about lunchtime on average. Ten we started 2 10 p.m. at one night. Yeah, we did. So we've started all over the shop to avoid the heat, and then it's just by the time you get into town, it's nearly impossible to do anything except sleep and get your clothes washed and and this one thinks it's normal 
to live off like three hours sleep and I'm like, I need eight hours. Give me eight hours or... Yeah, she does and, not um, do sleep deprivation well. No, and nor should I. Are we done? Yeah, my arm's getting tired. I'm tired. Okay, let's go to bed. Good night. It's seven o'clock. <sighs> Morning! Morning! That's our destination uh, where we've been walking all week to. But yeah, we're very happy right now and we're discussing what the first food is that we're gonna eat, which is, well, you said ice cream. No, I reckon we go for smoothies. Smoothies. Yeah. Um, yeah. Day five, how do you feel? Pretty good, actually. My legs are all good. Feet are sore, but the audio book's doing really good. Mm -mm. good and um, finally, Wombat isn't uh, pulling on my arm as much, so I'm not like, ah. Yep. So I've been hauling the cart and Kat's been doing dog training, which is really awesome because it saves me from the nightmare that is falling over with a cart and a dog. Sounds fun to me, but whatever. Mm. Anyway. Yay. Look well, where we are. We'll touch base again when we get there. I think we've got how much longer left? Uh, 20. Are we sitting on grass? <laughs> Crutch, I thought you'd want to see our crutches. <laughs> crutches? Yeah. Is it crutch or crutch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Iki, yeah. we're in Iki, but we're not near the smoothie shop yet. We've got another, well, we're five kilometers, six kilometers from our first destination. Final destination. Just give it a go, man. You love trying stuff. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Where's yours? <laughs> What's that sultry Angelina, Angelina Jolie going on? Look. <laughs> um. I thought what would be the what what was the most difficult thing for you was the sleep deprivation uh, and calorie consumption. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. That was really tough. And my nagging. Oh, that's alright. I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. <laughs> now calories were tough because she was wanting me to eat like every half an hour, hour, lots of food, like bags of peanuts. I'm talking like those bags of peanuts that you get. She wants me to eat three of those a day. Three of these. So like, what, 180 grams, she wants me to eat a peanuts a day, salted. So my lips were getting all crinkled. It was terrible. Terrible. So you think the worst day was day two? I thought your worst day was day three. Probably day three, yeah. That was really slow and that was low calorie day. I hadn't eaten um, enough food and my body was just like, she crashed. we want to we want to go to sleep now. It just wanted to sleep the whole day. Yep. So I was slow. But day four is when we also introduced audiobooks and that helped a lot as well. Mm -hmm. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Okay. Would you do it again? Yeah, not um, like 150 maybe. I like yeah. I guess I would with you. Mm. Not just for fun. I'm not gonna call up. <laughs> not for fun. <laughs> not, gonna, <laughs> not fun. But not because she's up. my friend, she's gonna come back and help me with another leg. Thank you. Gracias. Oh, ¿cuál es suave? Este suave. Ah, Um, and are you still? It's been two days. Are you still feeling sore, or have your muscles really sunk into it? No, to be honest, muscle soreness isn't really a thing afterwards. It was just during. I think it was just fatigue. Yeah, endurance. And as soon as I had that, like, we, we got to town, we had a good feed, we went straight to bed, and um, that's all I needed. Yeah. yeah. So, like, could I start again today and go again? Probably, yeah. Okay, let's do it. But I'm going home, so... <laughs> <laughs> My so bus no. is coming any moment to take me to the airport. So if I organised it properly. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know that we have anything more to add. Do we? No, you do it. You do it again. Yeah, it was tough though. Like it's definitely ticked off the bucket list. Yeah. Um, I think like a two-day hike would be preferred, just from the point of view of. 
carrying everything and having to plan like I could see how hard it was for you to plan the days out and like where we're gonna stop next and where we're gonna eat next and all that place is closed oh my god now we're running out of food and yep. and that for me is just so stressful like I'm very organized like you're organized but for me yeah. like that's yeah, the, I don't like the uncertainty totally. of where's my next meal coming from, and yeah. and that's something that I've like, gotten used sleep. to yeah. over a year. I, that's one thing I definitely noticed is um, <clears throat> that it's definitely work for Lucy. Like, um, you know, for me, a hike's fun. Like, it's optional. It's something I could, if I wanted to get out of it, I could of at any time. For me, it was kind of like, oh, I can pull over now because my legs are sore. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, like, we got to get to somewhere. Because yeah, we, like, the lights coming up. Food. This is happening. You're gonna get sunburn. You're yeah. gonna get a heat wave. Like yeah, whatever eat it was. More, eat more. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that and that's was a big difference. Like a good <clears throat> point too, because um, people get surprised that when I have a break, I want to go on hikes. Yes, yeah. as soon as we got back to the hotel, so we literally finished our 150 kilometer hike. I wanted to go have a shower or two, and then go to bed. And this one's like, oh, do you want to walk to go get smoothies? Do you want to walk to go get this? And I was like, there was this really awesome restaurant that we went to. It was like two kilometers away, and she was like, let's walk. And I was like, no, we're capping it. Like there. It, Two kilometers is a long way when you just walk. Minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not walking. Well, thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, peace. <laughs> <laughs> that was a face expression. <laughs> Bye. Oh, by the way, if you do want to come and walk with me, totally welcome. Totally, you just have to um, follow my rules, which Kat had to, for example. When we decide to get up, you have to get up. Don't put your shoes in the tent. Don't harm any of my equipment. <laughs> Do as I say. Eat when I tell you. Um, keep going even though you hurt. <laughs> Basically, just don't do it. <laughs> I actually had a go um, holding the, the thing. It was Cut. pretty tough. Very tough. Yeah, but you but. got it really fast. And it, it's a lot better than carrying stuff on your back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So. Okay, awesome. Cool. Well, cheers. Thanks, Let's guys. See that again with like nicer faces. See ya. <laughs> Love ya. Oh, thank you. Bye. See ya. If I get internet at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> cool. If you need help, blah, blah, blah. Yeah.